Hey everyone, welcome to today's Facebook Live. Thank you for joining and tuning in. We had a lot of good questions come in that I will be answering. I don't know about you guys, but I am really excited about Halloween um, coming up this next week. So my kids have been talking nonstop since about last week, just Halloween, everything, fall time, when are we going trick-or-treating, how many days, all of that fun stuff. So I will be answering some of the questions that came in about Halloween and all of that fun stuff. It is good to see everybody. And as always, it's so fun to have everyone comment where you are from and make those connections. We have people tuning in, as always, from all over the world. Coletta, it is good to see you. And Nora has just tuned in as well. I am a few minutes late hopping on here. Um, I had a good friend from my old neighborhood just barely stop by right before I was filming um, this video. And sorry, you guys, my camera is super, super blurry for this live video. I don't know if you guys have noticed that as of late, um, but my videos have been super blurry. So I will be getting a new phone um, this week. So hopefully it is a clear image and picture for everybody, but I will just do my best um, during this live video. Connie, it's good to see you. And Eileen is tuning in as well. Becca is from Chicago. Hi, Becca, good to see you. And we have a lot of viewers um, that have just started tuning in that are brand new to our channel. So I'm just gonna give you a really quick um, deep dive in about like 20 seconds. My name is Jamie Scott. I am the mother of quintuplets. That's five, six year olds and two older boys, Shaden and Landon that are 19 and 14. And I have been divorced now for about three years time. So I am now a single mom. And my co-parent and I, my kid's dad, we do co-parent and my kids spend one week on and one week off with each their mom and dad and we co-parent pretty well. So anyway, for those of you who are just tuning in that are brand new and you've kind of been asking some of these questions, where is dad? Some of you that have been um, following us for six years but hadn't checked in in a while. So if that is what we are up to. We are each dating um, different people and doing really well. So we'll be answering some of the questions that came in about that as well. Um, let's see, we've got Dory tuning in from Virginia and Joan Lamb is just tuned in as well. Um, and Debbie is from Birmingham. Hi, Debbie. So you're probably aware of the family that had sex tuplets if you were from Alabama. She is amazing as well and has hired her multiple moms. Um, really do just kind of pull together. And somebody said your hair looks really pretty. I really appreciate that. I was hoping to wash my hair today because it was like really gross, um, but that didn't happen. And so this is um, courtesy of Dry Shampoo. I really like the brand Batiste and I like it when it is tinted like a blonde color, the same color of my hair. So anyway, that was really kind of you to say that you like my hair today, thank you. Um, okay, we do have people commenting, so I'm gonna be looking as I am answering these questions. Uh, Susie is from Grapevine, Texas. Hello, and Michelle is from New Zealand. Hi, Michelle, I do recognize your names, you guys. Um, as you are commenting, they are familiar to me every week. Um, Luis is from Wyoming. And Dawn is from the UK. Welcome, Carol Peterson. It is good to see you on here as well. And Mary is from Georgia. Hi, Mary. And Ruth is from Manchester, UK. Welcome. And Kat is tuning in as well. And Debbie is from Syracuse, Utah. Way to represent Utah. And Sue is from Canada. Hi, Sue. Good to see you. And M says, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too. Okay, so let's dive into some of the questions that were asked um, and some of the things that the kids have been up to. So Shaden recently had his um, choir concert um, up in Wyoming, so he sent me the link for that. So I haven't been able to watch that because I had like an influencer event thing that I went to um, last night, which was really fun. So I went to the grand opening of the brick and mortar store, the Biscuit Bus here in Southern Utah. So if you are local to the Utah area, the Biscuit Bus in St. George, Utah is really, really good. They have sweet and savory options. My hands down absolute favorite is their peaches and cream um, buttery biscuit. It's just really, really good. So that still, after trying everything, is still my favorite. It reminds me a little bit of a churro. So if you're wanting a dessert that is kind of fall themed and just different, it's really, really good. And it reminds me a little bit of like Magnolia Market when I went to Waco, Texas and tried it there. Um, their biscuit version with like a honey butter. It was really, really good. So Anyway, I was at that last night while Shaden was having his choir concert um, from college up in Wyoming, and he did a really good job, so I think he was excited about that. Um, Ruth is from St. George. You're gonna have to check out the Biscuit Bus and tell me what you think. 
Um, and so Shaden sent me the link. So after this is over, this live video, I'm gonna be taking Landon back to his dad's house because he's been sick with a cold today, just catching up on homework and just resting. Um, so then I'm gonna watch Shaden's choir concert. So I'm excited to see that. He said it's been really, really a fun class and he's enjoyed it. Um, I think I have covered in recent vlogs what he's been up to. Um, and he's just doing really well. He's just a good, happy kid. So he's doing great. Um, okay, CardsFan76 asked, does Landon want to play soccer in college like his big brother, Shaden? Landon would love the opportunity to play um, college at the collegiate level. One thing I didn't know until Shaden um, made the team as a walk-on um, is that only 1% of kids from high schools in the US actually make it to be able to play at the collegiate level. So that would really be an incredible opportunity um, for Landon. Dory is saying, feel better soon, Landon. Um, I don't know if he can hear that. He's upstairs watching the show. He's like, I don't wanna hang out for the live video. So I will let him know that you said that. That's really, really kind. Susie's tuning in from Houston, welcome. Um, okay, Lori asked, will you put older videos onto YouTube? I think I need to learn how to do that. So we originally um, had all of those videos posted and then when Skylar and I separated and divorced, we split the platforms to be able to support our family. And so Skylar has the original YouTube channel and I have the original Facebook channel. Um, and so I have started up my own YouTube channel so you guys can find me under the name Five to Love or Jamie Scott. Um, and I might start doing like releasing old videos once a week and then pulling all of those videos into a playlist so you guys can watch it from the very beginning, like our whole story, especially for those of you who are new followers, Skylar and I, my kid's dad and I, we documented from the very beginning um, originally starting on Facebook lives, which is actually why I wanted to keep this original platform because those are kind of my favorite. So, um, yes, I have been thinking about doing that. It is time consuming because we have produced hundreds of videos. So for those of you interested, keep, keep tuning in. Um, as I update you, as I start releasing those videos, I am excited about that. Pat, good afternoon. She is from Virginia. Good afternoon. Okay, um, our next question comes from Jennifer. Favorite memory from the cabin vacation? Um, I asked Landon what was his favorite memory from our recent vacation where we went up to our family, the Smith family cabin. Um, Michelle says, hi, finally caught you live again, Michelle. I'm glad you could tune in. Landon's favorite memory, he went fishing with his grandpa, his cousin Kazen, Kaysen, and then um, the person that I'm dating right now, his name is Chad. His son Quaid is Landon's age as well. So all of them went fishing, I think up at Fish Lake, and they made dumplings, I guess, in a Dutch oven and fished together. And Landon said that was actually his favorite memory. Um, my favorite memory was probably when the snowstorm came in and all the kids um, just created little teeny tiny snowmen. We didn't get very much snow and it didn't stay for very long, not even half the day until really all of it melted. But the quintuplets really wanted to sled and so they were all really excited about that. So that was um, pretty fun for all the kids. That's probably the memory that they would remember. Um, and then I did get to go out on a date and go see, um, let's see, we went to uh, Bryce Canyon and we saw like a dinner and a show. That was really fun. And that was memorable as I'm acclimating to country music. How many of you gals actually like country music? I am curious. I've never really listened to a ton of country music, even though I live in Southern Utah. Um, I have listened to like Taylor Swift, Faith Hill, Tim McGraw, Brad Paisley. That's more of my vibe. Um, and so this has really been just that Southern type of country music that I'm learning um, to love. So Chad's going to be listening to that. I do like country music. Um, hi from Canada. Hi. Um, and then Driscoll is tuning in. Welcome. Okay, uh, we had a lot of questions come in about Halloween costumes. Louise says she loves country music and Michelle loves country music as well. Connie says she's a fan too. We've got a lot of people that are loving country music. So I, if you have recommendations of like artists that I should lis listen to, I would love those recommendations, both male and female. Um, I am starting to like country music a little bit. That's right, Garth Brooks. I have listened to some Garth Brooks. 
Back in the 90s, that was mainly the time frame of when I was listening to country music with some of my friends. Um, Vicky says she is a fan of the older country music, not the newer version of stuff. So that is interesting. Kathy likes country music as well. So Angel Girl 0104 asks, what are the quintuplets and everybody gonna be for Halloween? Stay tuned next week. I will be showing you guys what the quintuplets picked out. Um, the girls have their costumes. I have found those. The boys want to be something that they have been before because their costumes still fit. So those silly gooses, we will see, um, what they end up being, but you know, honestly, if it saves me a little money and they want to be the same thing, but just an updated version of that, we might just do that. So we are excited about that. Um, next week we've been invited to, let's see, one, two, three Halloween parties. And the class Halloween parties are, there's gonna be, excuse me, four different Halloween parties. So we're gonna see how that goes, trying to help out in the classroom. Honestly, I don't think I'm gonna sign up for an actual station. Um, station meaning like class parties, the moms will usually, and the dads will like sign up for like doing a station and then you help at that station. Like um, maybe it's like a candy, decorating a cookie or a craft or something like that. I think I'm just gonna go to each of the four classrooms and just see what I can help with. And we'll see how that goes during the hour that each of them are gonna have a Halloween party. So we'll see this year, it's gonna be a little bit different. Pat is from Wisconsin. She says, love your family. Well, I, we love you right back. Thank you for watching. And Lily Chamberlain just tuned in. Okay, um, Diana, oh, I forgot to mention. Okay, so we're doing Grandma and Grandpa Smith's um, Halloween party. We do this every year. It's been a tradition for, I don't know, like the last, 18 years ever since Shaden was like little we started that and it's just really fun to get together as extended family sometimes we invite friends to come along too and the rule is you have to wear some sort of a costume um and then there's just all kinds of fun like halloween themed treats and good stuff um i probably will be dressing up with boyfriend chad so we'll go as a couple and with all the kids um so the kids i've already figured out what they're going to be for the most part um, but I'm not sure. So if you guys have like couple costume recommendations that are clean and classy, that's more of my vibe. Um, I did go into Spirit Halloween last night and they had kind of some scandalous stuff there for Halloween costumes. So I'm not into that, but I like clean, I like classy, and I like family, like Halloween themed types of costumes. If you have recommendations, that would be lovely. Um, Okay, Diana.SheltiesRock asked, are any of your kids allergic to corn? Um, somebody said they also listen to Christian music too. I love good Christian music. Um, I, I really, really do. That's good. Um, okay, so Diana, are any of your kids allergic to corn? So if you guys were following along in my Instagram stories in the last 24 hours, we went to Staley Family Farm here in Southern Utah. So they have a corn maze. You can do like a petting zoo. You can see the farm animals. They have a little zip line. Um, somebody just said Wesley and Princess Buttercup. Oh, that's really, really cute. Uh, I like that idea. We'll, we'll see. My parents will be watching. It's kind of fun because we usually surprise everybody in the family with what we're going to be for Halloween. But I actually really like that idea. Um, are any of the kids allergic to corn? So at the Staley farm, they had, what do you call it? They just have like a bunch of dried corn that the kids can play in. And my kids were making little like snow, snow angels, but corn angels. Um, and they had such a good time. I'm actually doing laundry right now. And I can't tell you just like how many pockets full of corn they came home with on accident. So there has been corn all over the laundry today as I am doing that. None of my kids are actually allergic to corn and we have a lot of food allergies um, in this house, but corn is something that all the kids can eat. Um, but their allergies, including mine, were pretty bad after going to Staley Farm. Um, mainly just all the allergies in the air, I think, uh, between the pumpkin maze or like the pumpkin patch and the corn maze and like the tract ride and all of that. I think all of us were just sneezing. Um, and I know Chad and I had each had pretty bad headaches the last couple days just from allergies. It's that time of year and it's, you know, the change in the weather. So anyway, yeah, but none of the kids are allergic to corn. Okay. Our next question is from Ellie Chapma. Would little grandma join a Q and a, I miss her in vlogs and we could all use a bit of her wisdom. So little grandma, um, we showed her a lot in the beginning when the babies were first born. She was helping out a ton. 
um, with childcare, with the babies. She is my grandma. She is my kid's great grandma and she is getting older. So we try and go easy on her. I will have to ask grandma if she would ever be interested um, in like a live video or in just being featured in one of the vlogs. She still is just the sweetest, sweetest person um, I have ever known. She really is angelic. So anybody that's known um, little grandma, her real name is Jackie or Jacqueline Smith. Um, Jacqueline Highland Smith and she is just absolutely wonderful. She is one of those types of people that what you see is what you get. She is gentle, she is kind, she is sweet in nature and she loves to give. She's just warm and welcoming and she has loved all of her grandchildren, all 16 of us equally the same but, in, but individually and like at our level and at our pace in the way that we all feel and express love. So that's one thing I really love about her. And she is just full of wisdom. I love her. So she probably will be watching this. We love you, little grandma. Um, and I am excited to see her. Um, we have a few opportunities coming up where our family gathers together. We usually get together on Sundays and um, usually at the Halloween party. So hopefully I get to see her at both of those things. We love her so much. Um, okay, where was I at? Okay, I answered that one. And I'm seeing recommendations, you guys, coming in, um, like from the monsters, I think, like a uh, couple Halloween costume ideas. So that's really fun. I'm excited about that. Um, so I'll come back and I'll be reading through some of your recommendations for Halloween costumes, couples costumes. That'll be fun. Um, Destiny1968 asks, What's your favorite thing about living in Southern Utah? And she says, I love your family. Um, one of my favorite things about living in Southern Utah is we have really great year round weather, like bright and sunny days almost every single day of the year for the most part. Um, I love that. I love that it's a very family centered community. Um, Jack and Jill costumes, Darlene Stewart. That's a good idea. That's cute. Um, I love that there is a large percentage that are senior citizens in our community. I really love that, especially for my kids because I can glean from the wisdom of women older than me. Um, it's a very uh, faith, um, faith type of a community. So we do have various religions that are moving into the area and different cultures and people um, from all over that are starting to come and choosing to live in Southern Utah. So it's been fun. Um, Carissa just asked, do you have hair extensions? No, um, my hair, actually I did some dry shampoo and so it's extra fluffy today. Um, Woody and Jesse from Toy Story or Robin Hood and Maid Marian. Those would be cute couples costumes as well. Yeah, so no, I don't wear hair extensions. I have been asked that before. My hair is just super, super long right now um, because I haven't gotten a haircut in a really long time. Um, we've got people tuning in from Atlanta and we have some new people joining in as well. Welcome, thank you for watching. Um, so yeah, we love living in Southern Utah and the kids do too. I have lived in Bellingham, Washington, Saratoga Springs, Utah. Um, I have lived in Las Vegas, Nevada and Phoenix, Arizona. I've lived many places and there are things that I love about each of the communities that I've been a part of. Uh, but I really do love that this community is a little bit of a smaller feel um, and that it just really is centered around the family. I really love that. So that's one thing I really love about Southern Utah. Okay, Cheryl asks, um, special interests of each of your children and what are my personal hobbies and interests? Okay, let's start with Shaden. Hobbies and interests, he loves music, he's musical and he loves uh, soccer. He's very passionate about that and he loves his girlfriend Tatum. She's super cute. Um, somebody said your hair looks really great long. Thank you. I do love it long. I was considering cutting it and Chad was like, no, like it'd be cute, but it's nice to have, it's nice to have um, longer hair. Honestly, I don't have to wash it as frequently and I don't have to curl it or do it as frequently having longer hair. Um, so I am debating cutting my hair because tomorrow is my birthday. I will be 40 officially. And I've always said by the time I turn 40, I'll cut my hair. But I don't know. It's kind of easier to take care of it um, longer for now. Um, okay, so those are Shaden's interests and hobbies. Landon is very musical as well. He loves choir. Landon um, in particular really, really um, happy birthday tomorrow, Lori. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow is my birthday. 
Um, Landon really loves uh, the guitar, so he does play the guitar. He is musical. Um, he also learned how to play the ukulele um, years ago, and so he's kind of transitioned into learning the guitar. Um, he really loves like science, engineering, mathematics, that sort of thing, and he excels with that, so he does have an engineer's mind. Um, starting with the quintuplets, the girls, Violet, um, she doesn't like dance. Um, she let me know that Jenna Hansen. Thank you. <laughs> um, Violet is very social. She likes having her own identity. She also enjoys being a quintuplet, but likes her space. Um, she's very clever and very witty. That's something I really love about Violet. Um, Daisy really loves art, anything artsy. She absolutely loves, and that's kind of her happy place. She also loves the simplicity of the wind in her face and being outdoors and in nature. She really loves that. Um, Lily's probably our child that is a little bit more theatrical, um, artistic, probably musically inclined as far as like vocals and singing um, and a little social butterfly. And she's very like nurturing and loving towards babies. Um, let's see, that's the girls. Uh, Logan, I would say definitely an engineer's mind. He is fascinated with Matthew guys. And when I am making a left-hand turn, he always wants me to do, everyone's saying happy birthday, thank you. He's always wanting me to do mathematics. Like mom, what's 24 plus 56 and plus, I don't know. He always throws out all of these numbers and in his mind, he can add them. Um, so he loves understanding like days of the week, hours, months, anything like time related. Um, and he's always building stuff with Legos. Uh, let's see, Magna blocks. He loves things like that. Um, Lincoln is learning social skills right now. So he probably in the up and coming years is going to be the type of kid that's going to have a lot of friends. Um, he loves building Legos right now. That is kind of his thing. Um, and he's, he's got a good sense of humor. So I think, um, as I am channeling that and teaching him those skills, as he gets older, he's just going to be a really well-rounded little boy and quite funny. I think he's just a sweet, sweet little boy. As far as my hobbies and interests, I do enjoy reading. I love gardening. I love home decorating. Um, I love, I love being a mom. I love spending time with my kids and um, I love learning new things. Um, I am taking a parenting course right now just to be a better mom and learn as much as I can. And so there are some things that I can share with you guys in time that I am learning about parenting um, that have been really, really good and educational. I think I'm one of those people that is just a lifelong learner and I would love to go back to school, but for now I'm like, you know what? My focus right now is my family. So I'm gonna take this little parenting class and learn as much as I can. And it just helps me think outside the box as far as discipline and teaching my kids um, and instilling good morals and values, which is super important to me and teaching my children the art of empathy. So that is super important. So that's what I'm learning about right now. Um, okay, next question. How have the Quint's personalities changed since the first grade? Um, Bernadette says they could be the boxcar children. That's cute. I don't think my kids even know who the boxcar children are. My older boys do, and I read all those books when I was growing up. Um, those were really popular in the 90s, I remember. Um, as far as like personalities changing, um, one kid that I'm really noticing coming out of her shell lately is Daisy K. She is really finding her voice lately and vocalizing how she thinks, how she feels and what her needs are, which is absolutely beautiful because Daisy is one of our more sensitive and quiet children. And, um, she's just coming out of her shell and it's beautiful to see. Um, Let's see, have sibling classroom choices worked out like you had hoped? So the quintuplets have been divided up into four different classes. Bernadette says she's 60. Does that mean, Bernadette, you just had a birthday? You just recently turned 60? If that's so, happy birthday. Jenna says uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. That one would be really, really cute. I like that idea. Um, Okay, so Violet and Lincoln are in the same class, and I think that is a lovely combination that the teachers um, and the school principal and I counseled. I think it is like, so Bernadette will be in April is her birthday. So happy early birthday in April. So it's probably your half birthday coming up. My half birthday is April 24th. Um, so let's see. And then the other kids each have their own teacher. 
Um, Logan has the same kindergarten teacher as last year. Um, she switched to being a first grade teacher, so that's going really, really well. She's very patient with him, and he's just a really sensitive little boy, so he needs just a little bit of extra love and support um, with the way that he is wired. So we've really loved having her as a teacher. Okay, you guys, we have so many questions and people that are curious about my dating life. And so I'm happy to answer what I can about those things. Um, there were a ton of questions that came in again, so I will answer those. Um, Valerie asks, how do the quintuplets feel about you dating Chad? Um, the little kids really like him. Um, he's very kind. Actually, our first date, the kids were there, for those of you that have been watching. Um, and we just met up casually at a splash pad park. And so we just kind of talked a little bit and that was really our first date. It was about an hour, hour and a half long. Um, and so the kids were interested in getting to know him, kind of like how I was. Um, we've been dating now for about five, almost six months, just taking our time, getting to know each other. Um, so long, when did Chad come into your life? So about five or six months ago, I was transitioning from my last house to this one and I was sprucing up my home um, to stage it and to sell it. And I was casually dating at that point um, a few different people, meaning just like I went out on one date um, with somebody else here in town, maybe two dates, and another person, a few other people from like Northern Utah. Um, so I wasn't seriously dating anybody. Um, and we originally met through the Facebook dating app. So if you are a single gal, um, Facebook dating, uh, I still would caution, use it with caution. Um, but you can see if you have mutual friends. And so that was really helpful um, for me to see if I had mutual friends with anybody. Um, just for safety reasons, you know, because there are some weirdos on these dating apps I have found. They're just weird. Um, but I could tell rather quickly that this that Chad was really a clean cut, honest man. And that was very important to me. Um, and so that was how we met. He said hello and I actually was scared because I was like, shoot, people actually talk to each other on this Facebook dating thing and I was a little scared. So I deleted the app and then I jumped over to LDS Mutual and we connected there a few days later through speed dating in like five minutes. And then he asked me out and we went out like a, I don't know, a couple weeks later. So that was how I met him. Um, okay, next question is from Gasby Granny. What's the age difference between you and Chad? So he is about seven years older than I am. Um, Sheila asks, how did you meet? Very happy for you. Okay, so I just summarized and answered that question. Um, Granny Softball asks, are the kids okay with him staying at your house? So let's clarify that. Um, he does not live here. He has his own place. And he typically comes over most days after he gets off of work. He spends time with me. He spends time with my kids. And then he goes home every single evening. So we each sleep at separate households. Um, and the kids really like him. Um, Violet especially likes him. And so kind of our evening routine before he goes home is he'll help, he'll stay for dinner. Um, he'll help clean up the kitchen dishes, uh, sweep and tidy up our little kitchen area of this town home. And, um, Anyway, and then I go do the evening routine while he's downstairs for privacy reasons. And then I get all the kids bathed, um, dressed, hair combed, all of that. And then we wind the kids down by watching a show. And then I tuck each of my kids in at night and he's just there as an added um, support. And then we spend a little bit of time together and then he goes home. And so that's our typical um, day of how we do things as we are getting to know each other. And um, I think I've said this to you guys before, but it's really important for me to get to know somebody um, like in all seasons, if that makes sense. So to see them when they're super happy or having a bad day, um, all the seasons of the year is kind of how I'm interpreting that. Um, and I just want to date somebody for quite a while before um, I you know, make the decision to remarry. Okay, um, let's see. Another question from NMCK Kiernan 418. Have you discussed finances if you get married? Yes. 
Um, so we have talked about that. He knows what I make. I know how much he makes. Um, we talk about financial responsibilities to each of our co-parent. We've talked about how we would like to spend money. And honestly, we have a lot of things in common. We really want to create, um, if we choose to marry, um, a life that is focused on family and centered around family and the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so as far as like how we spend money, I'd say um, we actually spend money a lot alike. Like we're very simple and we're not big spenders and you can have a lot of fun on a smaller budget. And so I think we just have a lot of, a lot of things in common when it comes to finances. And I know in regards to divorce, there's like the top three reasons that most people divorce and finances can be one of those issues. And so I am reading a dating book by Gottman. Um, I forget what it's called. Oh, it's called Eight Dates. And one of the chapters is specifically about finances. And if you are dating someone seriously that you do discuss finances and um, your family history, meaning of like your childhood of like how you spend money and how you view money. And I think that's healthy. So um, I thought that was a good question to ask actually. Um, okay, Turner, Darcy, and Deborah both asked very bluntly, I might add, do you want to marry Chad? Um, I will say this, I want to remarry one day. Um, and I want to marry when I'm ready and I want to marry for the right reasons and I wanna marry someone that I love very, very, very much. And so I'm taking my time um, as I'm getting to know Chad. He's a wonderful person. Okay, Debbie asks, will you marry in the temple? So let's clarify that if anybody doesn't know what I am referencing. So I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ as of Latter-day Saints. Um, so you can choose um, as a member of my faith to be married civilly, or you can choose um, to marry in the temple. And getting married in the temple is just a higher law. Um, it's a sacred space. And if you choose to marry in the temple, you can be married for time, um, like a civil marriage, but also into the eternities. And for me, that's a really important decision. And so I really wanna take my time. Um, in deciding who I choose to marry and getting to know someone. Um, and yes, my answer is yes, I do want to marry in the temple. That's very, very important to me. Um, and I wanna marry a good man um, to have by my side um, forever. Lessa asks, does Chad have kids? I have answered this before, he does have kids. He has three children. He has a daughter, Kiernan, who is 21 and in college. Um, her last semester of college, she's wonderful. Um, he has a 16 year old daughter named Kale. And she is just very wonderful. She's very bright. I think she wants to be some type of doctor. I wanna say cardiologist, if I remember correctly. A really intelligent child. Um, and then he has a son, Quaid, who is 14, and he has a lot in common uh, with Landon, actually. And so um, I think it's good. That question kind of goes into Mandy's question. How do you think blending families will go? Um, I think, so far, like as we're getting to know each other, I mean, we're not married, we're not engaged, um, but blending family so far is going really well. I think first and foremost, there needs to be a mutual respect for each of our co-parents, um, which there is. Um, and I think that's a beautiful thing. And I think um, his kids, since they're older, it's easier to blend families with older um, kids that, you know, in four years are going to be out of the house, um, which would leave the quintuplets. Um, and I think it'll just be good. Um, so as, as I've been getting to know different people over this last year, year and a half with dating, um, I have taken that into consideration as I've been getting to know some of these other people. Amy, I'll get to your question in just a second. That is a good question. Um, and I do take into consideration blending families. Um, there is another person that reached out to me um, in the last few months that is a big um, Utah influencer. And he kind of just asked me a question and I more or less took that as he's interested. And I kind of looked at his family dynamic and how many kids he has and probably the type of personality and parent he is and co-parent. And I just thought, you know, that would be a whole lot of kids. And so looking at Chad, looking at somebody that has a few kids that are older and my younger kids and all the needs and making sure everybody's needs are met, I feel like blending is gonna go rather well um, with all of that. 
Um, Andrea, okay. Uh, Amy asked, has Skylar, my kid's dad, met Chad? Um, they have met casually, but not like officially, more like just pick up drop off or like showing up at the same um, events for school and stuff. Um, I haven't met the gal that Skylar's dating now, but I have seen her again, like at a school function. Um, and I think really highly of her. I like that um, she is a single mom. She does have a co-parent, but I like that she's got a couple of kids that are around my big boy's age and that they get along really well. So I really respect her um, as a parent for that. And the other thing I like is some of the quints weren't too happy because she said, you need to pick up your toys before we go do something fun at their dad's house, right? This is the story the kids had told me. And my kids, one of my kids was like, no. And she was like, okay then. Well then we're not gonna go do something fun until you do it. So I like that she's firm with boundaries in teaching my kids work hard, play hard. Like I really like that. So that's what I have to say about the gal that Skylar is dating right now. I like that she's a good influence on my kids from what I know so far. Um, Andrea asked, how long do you two plan on dating before you feel like you can enter the engaged zone? And so I think that kind of goes back to um, what I was talking about, wanting to date somebody um, in all the seasons. Um, and so like so far I've been able to see Chad is pretty much like an even kill type of guy. Like he's just like chill. He doesn't get too worked up or stressed out about anything. Um, he has really good social skills, really good people skills. He enjoys meeting new people. Um, he respects that I like to recharge alone sometimes and I need my space um, to decompress, but he also doesn't mind being an extrovert at like, I don't know, like public events for his job and stuff where he has to socialize a ton. So he's really good at that. And with what he does for a living, he understands a bit more about like what I do for a living. And so there's a mutual respect for that. So anyway, those are all the questions you guys that came in um, between Facebook and Instagram. So hopefully that answered your questions. And hopefully by next week, I will have a new phone that won't be as blurry as this one. I think I have dropped my phone so many dang times. It is cracked, it is blurry, and there's not much I can do about it except for just it's time to get a new phone. So anyway, if you guys have any more questions, I'm happy to take more questions and I will look up at the screen. So if you've asked a question, I haven't answered it. Um, you are welcome to ask it now. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else like life updates that I haven't covered. Um, Sharon Wood just tuned in. Hi, Sharon and Allison just tuned in. Hi, everybody. Um, okay, so tomorrow is my birthday. I will be turning 40 and somebody asked me like what what do you want for your birthday? And honestly, I said to that person, like, I just want kindness. Like, I just want people to be kind to each other. And so I have a challenge for you. I don't, I don't need presents. I don't need stuff, but honestly, I love flowers. So here's my challenge to you. In honor of my birthday, turning the big 4-0 tomorrow, if there is someone that you can think of that would love flowers, someone that you know, a neighbor who's down, somebody struggling, a single mom who is recently become single. I have a lot of compassion for those gals. If you could take a flower or take flowers or go visit someone, that would be the best, most wonderful birthday present I think I have ever had. And that's how I would like to see my 40th birthday celebrated this year. Um, so if you wanna post a picture, um, over on Instagram, jamie.scott and send it to me through the DMs. That would be awesome. And if you say yes, I'm happy to repost those and share those, or we can include them in a vlog. I think that would be so fun. That's how I would like to celebrate, um, going in, heading into my forties. Like I just want more kindness in the world. Um, and I love flowers. I named my girls after flowers cause I love gardening so dang much. So anyway, if you can think of someone that um, could use even just a smile. Honestly, it can change a person's whole outlook on life, knowing that somebody cares and knowing they're loved and that their feelings are validated. Um, that would make my 40th birthday like the best day ever. So if there's somebody in your circle of influence or even a phone call, you know, if it's hard for you to get up out of your recliner or just out of bed, if you're struggling with depression, mental health, anything like that, 
or you notice somebody else. Um, I do have a PO box. You can find it at the top of my bio at five to love. If you are watching this on Facebook and this will later be reposted onto YouTube. If you are following along on YouTube, you'll find the link in the bio to our PO box as well. So anyway, um, I love each and every one of you. Thank you for cheering me on and following along on our journey. Um, I really love the name that we picked, Five to Love, you know, six and a half years ago. And I think there is so much room for more love in this world and in my personal life and for my family. Love to you all. Thank you for watching this video and thank you for tuning in and supporting our family. Love you all. Bye.